Changes may finally be on the way for the problem plagued ticket machines for the streetcar. One Cincinnati City Council member says it's finally time to fix the machines or just scrap them all together. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch looks at the problems for the streetcar and for those who ride it. Gloria Jean Scott rides the streetcar three times a week, loves it, and at a dollar for two hours or two dollars all day, it's a bargain. But I've had problems with the ticket machines. The ticketing machines have been a problem on and off for the streetcar since the line opened in the fall of 2016. They thought they had a lot of the problems fixed, but guess what? I was out on Sunday, took a picture, machine not in service, and apparently I'm not the only one that's seen something like this. There's another problem, not every stop, not every day, but when I was out on Sunday, I also saw this. The arrival sign said 32 minutes till the next streetcar, but the next streetcar was right there. Arrival sign reliability was a big problem when the streetcar began. Apparently, things have not been completely resolved. We've got a fixed loop. We certainly should be able to tell with a $20 GPS chip on the train and a reader at the stop where the trains are and how long it's going to take for them to get here. That's simple. But the system we have, Flynn says, is overly complex. He says the city and the transit authority paid $1.1 million combined for the ticket dispensing machines, but are budgeting more than $100,000 a year just for repairs and upkeep. We're spending almost as much between the capital cost of them and the maintenance of them and the fare inspectors as we're collecting in fares. So what's next? The city manager and the ticket machine company will talk and they'll either negotiate a fix, a refund, or it could end up in court. Enough saying we realize there's a problem, we're going to fix it. Fix it or scrap it and get a new system. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. A Metro spokesperson tells Local 12 News the arrival time screens are usually accurate but can bog down during heavy traffic or a service suspension. Metro says this problem should be resolved in about a week. As for the ticket machines, Metro says the vendor has people on site. Nine problems, she says, have been corrected. Three should be corrected soon and one is still under investigation.